Hi, this is Kevin with Rock Anthems, and I'm going to show you my pedal board. I I uh, built the uh, the board first of all, and I put on the back side. I put a, a power conditioner to plug uh, uh, various stuff in. Um, the DC brick down here, which I run most of the pedals off of, and then I put a rack tuner on the top here. Uh, you know, I mounted it up and I bought a suitcase right here and before I made it and I made it to the size. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I run stuff. First of all, I, I run it first through the Wawa, which is a 535 Dunlap Wawa, which has the tone on the, on the side is 5 position uh, tone switch. And then I run it through a uh, hand-wired uh, E6 love pedal, which is just got and it's pretty nice. And then I go to the uh, TS9 uh, tube screamer, and then I go up to the uh, an old uh, MXR time delay, which I use for like uh, vintage type, you know, deep purple stuff, you know, with just barely it's not really like a digital delay it's an analog delay and it's uh, just adds a little bit to the sound and then I come down here to the uh, um, C C uh, I can't remember what you call it a uh, um, like a I think it's a PCL uh, or a PC PCF, yeah, it's a PCF, uh, TC Electronics, um, Chorus, and uh, Pitch, and Flanger, and it's a really clean Chorus pedal, a uh, really good pedal, uh, highly recommend that one, and then I have a lot of drives, so I have some outside of my pedal board, which I run after that. And I um, have a uh, love pedal COT50 Gold, which has the volume and the tone in the in the bias, and that's kind of gives you kind of a martial sound. And then I have the Tech 21 Oxford, which is a great pedal for uh, you know really thumping bass, and you know it adds a lot of. Uh, it's like an orange amp, and it's a very good pedal. It, it's uh, I use it for the you know the Metallica and the Priest and stuff like that. Uh, gives it a really nice uh, bass response and a really good drive to it. A lot of times I use a uh, couple drive pedals on at the same time to get the the right tones. And this is what I use for a boost on a lead. Because it's a pretty clean pedal. It's a Catlin bred uh, Silver Kiss, the British model, and it's really clear, uh, really clean. So I just use it for a clean boost. It doesn't have a whole lot of drive on it. I I crank the volume up and use it as a lead boost. And this is a H Homebrewed Electronics uh, Germania 44 which has a Germania 44 transistor on it and it's a treble booster and I use that for the Black Sabbath and the Queen stuff and then I come up here and uh, go through the uh, Eventide Mod Factor and that's got a great chorus and really nice uh, flanger and phaser settings on it and I use that a few times for a few songs and then the uh, super shifter, boss super shifter. It's I kind of use it for chorus. I got it set for uh, detuned, and I detune it a little, and you know it gives it a nice sparkle to it. You know, and then I have my A B selector because I'm running two amps. So we're gonna go over here to the first amp, and it's a rack amp, and. Uh, I'm going to show you where I run it first. I run it through the uh, the triaxis, the uh, Mesa Boogie triaxis preamp. 
and then I'll run that into the Rocktron and Telefix just above that and then I, I'll take uh, I'll take the it has four outputs on the tri-axis so I'll take two of them and I'll run it down to the first two on my mixer and then I'll take the two that I run to the Rocktron and Telefix and put it on the next two and then I'll blend the uh, I'll blend the sounds with the uh, mixer and I use the Intel effects for like reverb type stuff and you know I have um, you know my presettings and uh, actually I'll, I'll go ahead and down here and change it with my MIDI mouse by Tech 21 I got the other one for my tri-axis so that I don't have a huge you know ungodly size pedal there for the MIDI so I'm gonna change some of these with the MIDI so that's Priest and then I have a really good reverb there so I got a Led Zeppelin setting with a it's got four choruses on there but you know these are uh, with the mixer I just kinda modify the sound a little these aren't overwhelming because of my mixer and then I got a clean settings and the Black Sabbath so I got all kinds of great settings on that one and then I'll run it down to the BBE Sonic Maximizer at the end it's a 80, 882i and that's a stereo and all the stuff is stereo in this in this thing there's 5050 stereo tube lot for Mason Boogie <coughs> tube amp and I usually only the 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 low uh, the normal setting is only 15 watts per channel and the high setting is 50 watts per channel but I usually just run it at 15 watts and it's plenty plenty of volume on three or four when I play gigs or whatever um, then my other amp is a Fender uh, Cyber Twin and what happens there is you'll put you know if you change the settings I have four settings right here that I have on a MIDI switch that it has a four channel switch so I have my Fender Basement amp here and then I'll click it up here and I'll have my Ted Nugent setting and if you watch the knobs will change when you uh, when you uh, change your settings so that's a Fender Cyber Twin amp it's got 100 watts power and you know it's very important on this one that you have your trim over here around four or so because <clears throat> when I when I crank on the drives that I have you know it'll it'll go up to the to get all up to the red and the clipping and all that so it's important that you have it up enough but not too much and if you have it down the amp just doesn't sound good at all so uh, this is a really good amp here and then you can get so much so many so much stuff here you know that you know I can use this for a, for a lot of stuff and I'll, I'll have these on both of the amps on at once and I have a couple Mesa Boogie um, 212 uh, three quarterback cabinets and I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a 112 EV which is uh, the Thiel cabinet by Mesa Boogie and I'm thinking that I might just change to those and because uh, you don't really need a whole lot of speakers and all that and when you're playing you know you just don't need a whole lot of wattage either it's just overkill so anyway we'll move on over here to the guitars this is a 1987 Japanese made Strat and it's completely modified uh, it was originally a, a heavy metal Strat with the uh, Kaler you know locking tremolo but uh kept breaking strings and the saddles weren't any good on the Kaler so I had to change it out and I got a, a go-to on there and I got the uh, Eddie Van Halen uh, drop D tuna so you know I'll pull that out 
for drop D then I'll push it back in for the regular and then you tune it down here locking strings this guitar is great uh, I have a uh, English made uh, bare knuckle nail bomb in the bridge and in the middle and uh, neck I have a Fender Custom Shock uh, not not the fat 50s it's from a 56 relic uh, so it's a custom shop it's called custom 50s pickups but they're from a 56 relic that's the only way you can get them pickups and then my other strat here is 2007 I had a Floyd put in there with the drop D tuna and I have a bare knuckle war pig in the bridge with the camouflage then I've got bare knuckle uh, mother's milk in the middle and the uh, in the neck and those are like vintage type pickups so I can get the Hendrix sound on, on both of these guitars if I want and then I got a walnut body 1977 Kramer 450G and this this guitar smokes it's great it's an aluminum neck guitar and originally I had uh, I had to get the neck pickup because originally the, the one that was in there wasn't any good but this thing screams it's a great guitar anyway there you go